last time to board so we live in the station you hear the roar when you're missing home go see africa here so now i'm leaving the village i've been taking the train uh, from this point to, to the coastal town of kenya mombasa It's officially 12 o'clock. So the train is almost approaching. Someone asked me what's my love language, then I told them traveling. <laughs> and they got they got a surprise. So are you getting surprised? I love traveling. So I might be landing in several cities by just a single body so join me watch the video to the end Today I'm traveling with Sen Economy and we just stopped at Miyaseni station. So and that's Mombasa Road. So the same uh, road is heading to Mombasa. My direction. Now we are leaving Miyaseni. We're hoping to get there by 2 p.m. So it's a five-hour journey. Yeah. But I get it. There is no much difference by the uh, between uh, economy and uh, first class. Now the five years is too little, you don't really get tired that much. So you can always say that little coin, yeah, to use it in on different something. Probably uh, you can use it on accommodation. Because for us travelers, um, we only need to be in that particular place we headed to. We don't really care about the comfort or not. The goal is to travel. The goal is to achieve a lot through uh, traveling. And uh, I carried my passport and my travel documents. Uh, yeah, my passport and inside we have the yellow fever. We don't know. I don't know where uh, I might end up at. We're almost at our final destination. So in the next one hour, we'll have a uh, light. Okay. You, you can tell them your name and where we're heading to. My name is Anita. We're heading to Mombasa. Yeah. Yeah. What's so common with Mombasa? Yeah, right now we are at Mariakani. Yeah. Sure. Mombasa is the coastal town of Kenya. Thank you, Anita. That's a beautiful lady. Very friendly lady as well. But I have something. Uh, I have a problem, I know. Appreciating our ladies. Not a mistake. Leave a comment there. Let me know whether it's a mistake with that soda or it's normal for a man. Or it's normal for an African. You know? Is it wrong for me to always do that? Because as time I overdo it. <laughs> Coastal town is so popular for the coconuts, the coconut trees, and uh, what else? The fish, because of the ocean, of course. So these people are so friendly. Yeah, they are what? How they relate with 
any newcomer and visitor in the town is exceptional. I once got lost, then some guy went out of their way to show me direction. They stopped, totally stopped what they were doing to take me to the place I was heading to. And they never asked, not even a coin. So I had to offer to give them something because they still have their programs, they still need to need and probably they have a family, they need to feed their family. So it's always good for you to see reciprocate when someone does you good. That's how the land, the landscape looks like. So in between where this train is here is passing, we have a kind of a fence, a very strong fence such that no intruder can access to this side. Warden most as well cannot access to this, this side. I believe it's electric. But in between we have a kind of a cliff. Yeah, cliff. Yeah. So these guys are dug inside these roads. They need to uh, crack the road for the train to pass. No? That's how it looks like. Popular communities in the coastal town are the Michikenda people. The nine tribes of the coast. Michikenda. Thank you for choosing family. That's why I have to say again. We wish you a lovely afternoon. The, the humid level at this place is quite different from what we experience in Nairobi and in other cities. Uh, the fact that uh, it's a coastal city. So now we are leaving. I prefer using the staircase other than the escalator. We have another team there waiting for the next train to Nairobi in about an hour's time. <laughs> but everyone will agree with me, this station is classic. I have been watching videos about other train stations across um, Africa, but Kenya outstands. Is that true? Kenyan station is outstand. So after this place, we're going to pick cabs to our various destinations. So I've been decided whether I'm headed to Mombasa or to Kili. They are neighboring countries.
it's only in these trains whereby you can get there without knowing anyone and by the time you're coming out you have made about 10 friends <laughs> but today my experience was different because uh, bro I, I haven't slept for the last like six hours so i don't uh, have that energy to make friends i don't have uh, the energy to interact with people So there I can see different uh, drivers with different vehicles so they come here to convince their customers to board their vehicle. That guy looks like my world representative. I still have a discussion with him. I talk to him. If he comes fast, maybe he's talking to his driver. So yeah, they have to be convincing. They have to convince you to board their vehicle. I need to make a call before anything. We haven't decided the area I made it to. Welcome to the land of Bango and Tara music. Swahili is so much common in this land. And you know, we took our vehicle through Miritini. Miritini is a very vibrant estate. Uh, predominantly occupied by the Miji kind of people and uh, being around this place gives me the Cap Asian vibe it gives me 80 vibe thank you so much to the African Tigers for always taking us around the world I feel like I've been over 50 countries visa free yeah that can go unappreciated traveling to over 50 countries without a visa stamp
this beautiful uh, port city, Mombasa, and uh, yeah, I'm admiring everything about this place. So we're crossing the Mikoni Channel. Uh, in the same place we are by the big ships uh, used to pass. So that's the beautiful Indian Ocean. I love the coast and everything about the Kenyan coast. However, I feel that we are slowly losing our culture because when I'm walking here, I haven't heard anyone play Tarab music. I haven't heard anyone play Bangu as well. Slowly in the Imperial Bay. People board running and come out while running still. That's saving time, right? And people say, also people are lazy. They lazy? Yeah, they running? I don't understand. So it's, uh, it's an early morning and everyone is rushing to their work areas. For me, I'm rushing again, it's time. I would say crime rate in post uh, less than what we have in Nairobi than what we have in other major cities Why most people live in cheap area, affordable areas like Likoni then working uh, at CBD the town so I want to be picking uh, these tuk-tuks to a place I didn't to I, I intend to head to. Tuk-tuks are common modes of transport within this city. So these are the tuk-tuks, three-wheel vehicles. So I'm learning that uh, Blanca is a famous club in uh, Yeah, Sablanga is a very famous club in Mumbai. And in Kenya, very active. Very active city. I like a vibe like this. The millionaire, uh, she's Vanessa. One day, that road trip with her from Nairobi to Mombasa. You guys can remember me. 
Jim Steve, you too. <laughs> so I had I had to come and visit her. I had to say hi. Hi. So how have you been? I'm good. Yeah. Still working hard. Business is growing. So you have you haven't done doing what you are doing. I like you to complete. Yeah, you complete first. No. Then you continue. No. Yeah, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not leaving. We are in Mombasa Old Town, a very famous uh, place for the oldest, some of the oldest buildings here, built by the Oman Arabs, dating back way 12th century. So I want to be taking you around and uh, so far I'm liking what I see here, some whole building, very old buildings, built using some of the technologies we have never seen exist in Kenya, I haven't seen any of uh, uh, Kenyan architects uh, draw such kind of a building. We have some of the biggest mosques in uh, Mombasa Hotel, the likes of Munara. Munara Mosque, we have Mantri. Yeah, I'm still taking you to a place whereby you will be seeing these boys jump from a cliff, yeah, to the Indian Ocean. And, and um, some of the activities you expect to see in Zanzibar, you know, people are leaving different countries, big countries, yeah, to come and experience what's happening in Zanzibar. Guess what? We have the same in Mombasa Hotel Town. So I hope you're going to enjoy my video. But for now, I want to be ending this video at this point. Yeah. So, you guys, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment. Definitely, you're going to meet in the next episode. My name is Go See Africa.